So as you can see in the vlog, I showed you some of the stuff that I got, but I'm gonna uh, do a close up and uh, show you more stuff that I, uh, I got in another trip to Dollar Tree. The first thing I wanna show you, which is a part of uh, a DIY that I'm gonna do just after this one, this video. These are, uh, I don't know what to call them, but they are Christmassy. And I'm gonna do something with them, something very nice and, and uh, Christmas related. So I got that one and this one I got in, uh, in this uh, trip and I showed you when I, uh, when I saw it and I was very happy to see this. It's very good quality. It's, um, it's wood, it's all wood and um, it doesn't look like it is 125. It's very very nice and that is also part of the DIY that I'm going to show you. I got this very cute Christmas tree and um, it's very nice. It looks it looks really nice in person too and I'm going to use it or decorate, uh, use it as decoration in my office and I thought this was very nice. Next. I was very excited to this to see this one and I saw uh, a lady she was hauling this one and it was uh, um, I thought that we will not see this in Canada but I was very happy to see it here and it is uh, this uh, wall hanging thing I don't know where to hang this yet but uh, I know that I will find a nice place for it and this foil and this is um, glitter there is some glue there like hot glue that is you can see it over there but it doesn't really bother me next I saw this one and I had to have it it's a um, Christmas wall hanging thing it says believe in, ma in the magic of Christmas and it has the Santa and the reindeers it's very nice and Christmas colors they have the green and the red it's very very nice and also it is kind of uh, but not wood but it is uh, I think PDF we call that what else did I get? I got um, this one I got this one long time ago at about one and a half, one month and a half ago, and it is this brass circle, and I'm gonna use it for the DIY that I'm making. Also, I have a tip for you. I usually don't buy food from uh, Dollar Tree, but lately I've been seeing um, good quality stuff there, and this cake mix is so nice, and um, it is much better than the Betty Crocker one, and. Uh, I already tried it um, I just used uh, a third of it and uh, so I have a lot of it and this is how it looks like I just used this small ramekin and it tastes very good so if you see this grab it because uh, it's very very uh, delicious Lately, I have been seeing uh, Dollar Tree carrying good quality bread and um, like this one, it's the Weight Watchers um, bread and it tells you how uh, many calories in one slice and it is, I think, sliced thinly and it's not very bad bread at all. It's, uh, it's just about to expire, like uh, still in this one, it's uh, like three days or four days before expiration date. Uh, I grab these and I put them in the freezer and they are they stay fresh and they don't go bad when you put them in the freezer even if they are expired like the date on them is expired if they are on the freezer that does not matter so I got many or a lot of bread and I got also this uh, Tia Rosa um, what's the English one? Fajita kit and um, uh, I got two. I used one today and I really like it. I also get this English muffins. I got two. 
and they are very nice. I like them. They are about three dollars and a dollar in the superstore, but they are only one twenty-five and dollar three. I got also two of these, and they are the right uh, Canadian style bread. And uh, and this will will keep us um, not needing bread for a very long time, which is very nice. That saves us a lot of money. So if you see bread and the Dollar Tree, just grab them and uh, freeze them. Uh, they still will be fresh when you take them out of the freezer and uh, toast them. So that will save you money too. That's all I have for today. Uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and you found it somewhat um, helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.